Mm. Okay, uh, I finished. I finished setting this up. I got the little blue doohickey here, and this is on now. So I calibrated it, honed it. So for calibration, they say you want to use a piece of paper. You want to be able to slide a piece of paper between the nozzle for the filament and the stage. I rehomed it. I want to print something, I think. Let's see. I had a... Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can get it out of this one. I guess I can turn this one off. It's a little disc here. I'm going to try it. I better turn this off. Before I put the disc in, I'm going to try it. Um, print um, a bunny rabbit. Just to test it, you want to test it for a calibration. And then put the glue on here again. I think I I mentioned not eating this. This is not a giant tube of chapstick. This is doesn't smell like anything, but it's glue. All right. So I did find there was some things wrong with this machine. Um, there was no belt. So I turned it on, tried it home, it went home. It measures the X axis first, Z, Y, three axes. And it wouldn't, because there was no belt, so I had to take it back apart, put a belt on it. I found this arm here that keeps this axis level with the stage was loose, so I had to take all this off, take that off, take that off, tighten that down, put that back on, put that back on, put that back on. Then, I found that the home position was too high, so I couldn't calibrate the stage. So I had to lower the home position here. Then I found out, um, you can probably see there's a coupler here. If you have the coupler too low, um, it won't tighten up on the worm gear, causing your worm gear to slip. So I had to raise that up. Again, these are all eBay things that Buddy bought, and we have been just putting them together. I've been told to use a lot of glue. So I don't even know where this particular machine is going to start from. So I'm going to use the Greek, very, a lot of glue. What am I trying to say? It still doesn't smell heating. I don't even know why I smelled that again. It just did the homework. Anyway, glue on there, calibrated. All the parts are together. The thing about the thing, uh, my jigger is in there with the, uh, the file on it. So let's turn it back on. All fired up. Now we're gonna do a, let me see, prepare. Now this is an upgraded motherboard in this machine than that one, so it has more functions. Um, let's do an auto home. That one only has home, this has auto home. And that one doesn't have an option to independently move the axes either by one millimeter, 10 millimeter increments for testing. But I turn it, I just turn it off to calibrate it. You wanna make sure that slip, slip of paper slides in all four corners. Um, you, have, you need to check calibration every time before you use these. Now it's honed. I kinda like to do a preheat. Let's see if I can find that on this. Control, temperature. Um, let's go to temperature, nozzle bed. Let's do, go to preheat, PLA, config. Um, fan speed's 100%, nozzle, nozzle temperature's 200, bed is 60. Let's store those settings. Back, um, ABS. I just want to preheat. Let's go back to main. Door, filament, um, all right, main, about printer, we don't, we don't care about that. So I just, okay, this is not giving me an option, oh, okay, so let's go back, back to the main, that one just has a preheat on the main, 
mean like about screen. This one has a prepare option. So you go to prepare, scroll all the way down, preheat PLA, preheat. All right, so now fan is going. This is all your information. This tells you what, what, what the thing about the manager is doing. I have some more orange juice here. All right, we're going to preheat this. Now, if this heats up to about 150 degrees, it's going to fall. If there's something wrong with it. That's why I've been finding out. You get up to a certain temperature, it'll it'll start, it'll fall. And that is that wire that's in this little box here that I told you gets broken when people change out uh, the nozzle. <clears throat> that's how I figured I was going to replace it, and then I noticed it wasn't even hooked up that this machine oh this machine somebody just simply took a screw out of it i don't know why but these again these were all ebay things that somebody took all apart i don't know if they came from a school and students were troubleshooting or what but most of the pieces were here we haven't had to buy too many parts the box parts <laughs> all right let's see here okay this head unit here goes to this machine. I had this one running, I've stolen parts off it. We have two more glass beds for that machine and that machine. Again, Matt was great about just buying all this stuff. Alright, still warming up. It's about 117 degrees on the nozzle, 42 degrees on, on the bed. And we've lubed up the bed with our chapstick. Try not lose that. I wonder if any glue will work. Does anybody know? Does anybody know? Will any glue work? Like Elmer's school glue, or do I have to buy this fancy stuff with the name on it? I think any glue would work. Like paste kind of type stuff. Has anybody tried anything different? Let me know. That'd be ideal. We have all different colors here. I'm going to print. I'm going to do a test print with white with a little bunny rabbit. But I found a file online where I could print this egg. It was in two pieces and it was threaded. It's really cool. I think it's really cool because I'm new to this stuff. Um, this here, this was printed by my father-in-law. Uh, it's really cool. I think it's cool. Pretty thin. It's for Gile, for sure. Um, don't play soccer with it. But this is cool. I guess I could. I'll just put this here like I did it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't take credit. This is really nice. He's, he's a little bit more advanced than I am with this stuff. Again, I never... This is my first printer. Come on now, 160 and 50. This is taking a little bit longer than that other machine did. I don't know why. I've replaced, I think I've replaced everything on this machine except this power supply. I even have a new cord here. Okay. Hopefully it prints okay. We have had to do several trial runs. You can see this is, parts you know I don't know but I didn't have any glue so we'd get like to this point and then the thing would slide off start over bunny rabbit these are fragile too just so you know these ribbon cables get damaged um, I have pinned this one out and uh, all the connections are good but we found out there's two different ribbon cables like one end looks like that and then the other end is big and fat and it won't fit but the machines are the same i think it's the parts car down there that's odd so we'll we'll just not use that one um the motherboard where it was different was the the head units were the same but the motherboard connection for the ribbon cable here was much fatter on the other end um I don't know if it was replaced at one time or not. I 
I wonder if this one's bad. I don't know. I don't know what has failed on this board. I don't think it's worth looking into. But it's it'd be interesting to know if that's if it's a common problem. What it is. Why is it failing? Maybe it's a simple fix. It has a fuse here. 20 amp? Yes, yeah, blue. Yeah. But the fuse, the fuse is good. I don't think it would even light up if the fuse was bad. I think you wouldn't get any illumination whatsoever. That looks okay. Just by my, my peepers. Peepers don't lie to me. All right, 184 and six. Okay, so the bed is heated up. Cool, groovy, that's working. That would be another problem. I mean, I'm just firing this machine up, trying to make it work. I don't even know if everything works. At home, it's heat, it's warming up. Um, seems like everything's good. I think what I might need to do, though, is there's an adjustment here, it's spring-loaded, to keep tension on your filament. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make a slight adjustment to this just because I know from the other machines that it was, they were too loose and the adjustment looks something like that already. So I'm going to, I'm going to tighten this up. It spring loaded, it creates a little tension on the filament and drags it in. We'll try that. All right, 184, we're almost there. This is kind of cool. This is my wife's favorite color here, blue. I might make her an egg. I think the egg is cool. I need to find something else to do, though. Let's see here. I don't think... This is all, like, sample. Like, this... All of these colors came in, like, this giant sample bag. Which are cool. There's not a lot of it for each color. But there's a lot of colors here. Lots of them. Kind of groovy. Like, that's kind of that thing that my father in law printed. It's like a rainbow kind of looking thing. It changes colors, so that's pretty cool. Alright, we're up to temperature. Looks like it overshot it slightly by one degree and it stabilized. So, we are going to print something here. Um, print from TF. Now we've got the egg. We're going to print. Did I, did I say bunny rabbit earlier? Or bird or something, something weird, I don't know. Anyway, it's a rabbit. Alright, looks like it's it's doing its thing, it's checking its home, it's checking the calibration on the stage. And it'll squirt out like a little bit of material. It's coming out, so I know the extruder's working there. And it looks like I kind of glued the right spot. So right now is what it's doing is it's making the outline that like that's as far as your material is going to go. So it it kind of it prints it out. So this is a good indicator because if you didn't put the glue in the right spot, you can pause it, put more glue, and keep going. Um, but you can also pick and choose where you want where you want the material to print on the stage. I didn't do that. I figured we'd just go. The purpose of doing this is to make sure the machine runs for for my buddy. Make sure it's calibrated properly so when he takes it home he doesn't have to fight with it. Of course he knows what he's doing. He can calibrate this stuff. He's a smart guy. But this is kind of cool. This is going to take um, approximately an hour and a half. This is... I think I should clean this mess up while it's doing that. I think this is... I know this is dirty. We don't like this. That's bad, 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 bad. But, you know, I mean, this is in the garage. The garage turns into a catch-all catch -all after a while, and, well, it's just the way it is. But I'm going to I'm gonna let this do its thing. I, I'm happy. It seems like it's running, and uh, I'm going to let it go, and I'll print the boat next, and then the egg. Um, great. It's working. I'm happy. Nothing wrong with that. Better than a poke in the eye.